I have been trying to replicate with my Chevy Bolt EV the route experience that you get in a Tesla, which is very good. Uh, what Tesla does is you will say, I want to go from here to City X. And then it'll say, okay, you need to charge here and here for this long, and it'll route you to the chargers. And it'll also preheat your car, preheat your battery, and, and make the battery receive electricity fast, because it'll be at a nice, warm, juicy temperature the battery's like. Well, I don't have that part of it, but I've always wanted um, to really have a, you know, the, the gasometer on cars. When I came back from the Rocky Mountains... I had really good fuel economy in the Rocky Mountains. Then I hit the wide open prairies and my car was still basing its distance on that. So I, I ran out, like I didn't run out, but I had to stop at a charger that I didn't expect to. So that kind of, you know, sucked. Added some time and we were telling people when we were going to get home and stuff like that. Uh, I didn't want that to happen. And I also wanted to be able to have confidence in my um, range and be able to get it down to say 10%. So, cause that's where it charges faster. It'll charge really fast between 10 and 50%. Yeah. So if I'm spending, if I'm not getting down to that, I'm wasting time at the charger cause it charges slow. My car charges only 50 kilowatts. So, um, I bought, uh, the premium version of a better road planner and that when you do that, you can, A, you can use it on your dash if you have Android Auto like the Chevy Bolts do. So you can have it on the screen like you would in your Tesla right on your screen so you can look at it. And then secondly, you can, it'll have live weather if you buy the premium edition for $7 a month. And I'm only going to buy it for the months that I'm actually traveling, which is not yeah. every month. So, um, yeah, you have live weather and you have that and, and terrain in your Tesla. So it takes into account you know, sometimes these things can really surprise you if there's a headwind. So that helps. It may not be perfect, but it helps give you a better estimate. And then thirdly, what it has to do is connect to your car and get the information of your battery and to know how fast it's going down and how fast, and what the charge is at. So I use a dongle for that. They're called a Bluetooth dongle. Now, on most non-Tesla cars, Tesla has a different format of connector, I think, but most cars have a standard OBD2 connector. And that's for getting the codes so a mechanic will plug into your car computer and get the error codes off it. Uh, well, lots of people do this. They put in, I was doing it with the Leaf, uh, just to see what the tire pressures wa was. And, and you can change a couple of settings. And even in the Prius, I turned off the backwards beep. So, yeah, I, I, bought, I had to buy a new dongle, though, because it, was, it required what's called a Bluetooth uh, low-energy dongle, so B-L-E. So I spent 40 bucks from Amazon, got it. It worked first try, although I've talked to people online that said they couldn't get it working in their various cars, but it worked first time for me. And then I took it on a 45 minute highway trip. Uh, my wife and I just went out for a Sunday drive and um, it was a bit rainy and um, yeah, just the destination in your car will vastly, you know, after six weeks of driving in the city, you use more mm -hmm. energy on the highway, right? But this one knew right away because I, it knew it didn't change its estimate that I would arrive. I didn't leave with a full battery. So it said I would have to charge at 25% halfway on the trip to say Saskatoon, which is where I'm going this coming weekend. I have to go to a memorial service in Moose Jaw and then a trip to Saskatoon uh, overnight to uh, celebrate my son's birthday and just hang out. So that's going to be, you know, at this time of year, it can get cold. I had fine and dandy time doing it in the summer when it was 80 degrees, 27 Celsius or warmer, nice temperature, thin air to drive through and everything was fine. So this, I just want to make sure it works. So it did, it only changed after 45 minutes of driving, it didn't change his estimate by more than 1%. So I'm fairly confident in it and I'm going to see how it works for this trip this weekend. Well, that just brings up the question that this is something that clearly car manufacturers could put in the car that if you were able to kind of hack it by plugging into this port, um, you know, these other car manufacturers need to kind of step up their software game and just integrate this so you don't have to go through all that trouble to get to make it happen. Show. 